Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about um, the how to clean and turn your pallet expander for the GoDaddy workshop. Um, uh, when your kid is about seven to nine year old, and when you go to the orthodontist, sometimes you would hear news that uh, your kid uh, um, upper jaw and the upper teeth are are very crowded. So they um, they may require um, uh, a pallet expander to help the teeth uh, grow. So um, as, as it is the case, uh, my son is going through that stage right now. Uh, this is James, uh, my son, and uh, he's currently uh, just uh, wearing a pallet expander for the last uh, uh, three weeks. Um, now, um, the when you, the kid initially start to wear the pallet expander, they may uh, go through some pressure feeling and it may hurt sometimes uh, when you make the turn and it's hard to chew on food. Um, so what to watch out for when you're doing the pallet expander. Uh, as you can see the pallet expander, um, when you wear the pallet expander, uh, the, the teeth are fixed to the expander and then there's a place where you need to have a key to turn the pallet expander. Now if you're not careful with maintaining uh, keep your keys clean sometimes so well, then you can have a problem when the bacteria infection starts in the palate uh, uh, mucor mycosis uh, that's the condition w uh, when you're not diligent about cleaning your palate expander this is what's going to happen the bacteria is going to get into the the palate in the top and it's going to infect it and it's going to cause bleeding and, and the severe pain so that's going to really uh, hurt. So it is very uh, critical and important to, to do a daily routine cleaning to make sure that your palate is uh, free from germs, uh, free from food particles that, that may build up on the palate. Um, so that will cause the bacteria to multiply. Okay, so the first step when you do the uh, cleaning is to get some uh, Listerine. Listerine with the advanced solution uh, is uh, the best you to get is with the uh, alcohol solution in it because it's going to fight the plague and kills the germs for up to 12 hours. Um, so that's what my uh, dentist recommend, the orthodontist. Then you, you put some Listerine in a, a ball and get the brush that will come in the package when the uh, from the doctor's office the, with a little brush you dip the uh, brush in the solution and then you have your kid lay back open the mouth and then you start cleaning the palate from the top part okay brush it really carefully with the solution okay keep the clean make sure the food particle comes off okay from the top and also at the bottom, you, you at the clean at the bottom. Be careful with the little corner there. Make sure that you get the corner spot uh, on the side, so that the food particle comes off. So you brush it really good, and then you do it, repeat this process again. You dip it in the solution. Make sure the food particle is gone from the brush. Clean the brush, and then you do it one more time. You just keep repeating this process for like uh, five, six times. Make sure all the food particle is gone from the top part and the bottom part uh, of the palate expander. So after you clean it really good um, with the antiseptics uh, mouthwash, and then you can, then you can. Uh, uh, use a, a toothbrush. The toothbrush, uh, is a, this is a timer toothbrush, electric a timer toothbrush that uh, it can set it for two minute brushing, okay? And put some uh, uh, toothpaste and brush it real good. And then after that, it is uh, time to do the turning. Now this is the, the turning key, okay? The turning key is <coughs> Is, uh, uh, has a, a little metal part to it, okay, and uh, you put this in the mouth 
uh, in the middle. Hey James, come closer. Okay, open your mouth, please. Okay, hey, really high. Okay, so then you you find the, where the there's a little hole in there. Okay, after you put it in the hole. After you put this in the hole, in the hole, and then you turn it real good like that. Push it all the way in so that it will turn. Yes. Okay, good. So that's done. So you normally the doctor will tell you to turn once or twice a day for a total number of uh, uh, 18 turns. Uh, that's what the, my orthodontist told me is to do 18 turns uh, over the period of two weeks. Uh, so if you miss a turn or here and there, you have the opportunity to make, make up the turns. Okay, after that's done, then um, you can use the water pick. The water pick machine that we got is from uh, any uh, drugstores. Then you put the warm water in, in the... In you put the warm water in the top cup and then place it on the water pick. James, come back, please. Okay, and then you, you wash it real good, okay, in the mouth by pushing the little upper lever in here so that it will start to, to work. Let's see, like that, see? That's perfect. Push the water up. Push it up. Yeah, let it wash. And this, yeah. There we go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, then basically what you want to do is wash the, the palate extender metal part and also wash the gum. And then after that's done, okay, after doing it for five minutes, then that's done. And then now, let's let James t tell you what not to eat. That's very important. The kind of food not to eat so that you protect your palate expander from damages. James, would you please tell your audience what you should not eat? You should not eat sticky stuff such as bubble gum and other kinds of sticky candy that can make your teeth bad and it can stick up all the things and then your bacteria can eat it. You can also not eat popcorn and also hard stuff that such as bones and beef and other kinds of sharp and hard stuff that can stick in there and then the bacteria can eat it and then it will multiply more germs and other things. Good job, James. Thank you for sharing all the information, James. Um, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll see you until next time.